Wait, we ordered pizza again tonight, and I got hot peppers. If they're fucking good, aren't they? I, I they're the amazing. I had real hot peppers and not just the chilies on top, and that was like, man, it was a good thing too because actually, with my sense of smell fucked, I couldn't really taste the pizza at all. Other than that, <laughs> really, just that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I ordered the pizza that I normally get, the uh, pepperoni and uh, and whole, and um, pineapple. Pineapple, good. And then uh, I said, screw it, I'm gonna add the peppers, the hot peppers to that combination. And it was the best. It was awesome because it, the hot of the pepper was cooled down by the the pineapple, and so that combination was like uh, like steam was coming out of my ears because it was like it was cooling and and hot at the same time. It was awesome. Yeah, I enjoy some. I don't like I don't like weeping when I. No, me neither. But it was hot enough just to sort of say you know hey, like my taste buds were, you know, got a kick in the ass from it cool yeah God, this thing is pissing me off it's killing me I just want root on this phone because I want to uh, there's a fucking app I want to download and they've only released it in North America and it's not like normally when they do that it's because it's like an app you can't use on your phone but it's just they've arbitrarily just released it in North America and it's like and the UK or something like that because yeah. I think because it's only in English right and it's like fuck you guys and there's no other way to change. I thought, well, maybe I can go into the Play Store and change my location. Yeah. Like you can with Apple, right? Like you can go in and you create a new account with a different location. You switch that account, download the app, and then switch back. Yep. Um, yeah, you can't I do just, that. I just recently discovered that. It's fucking pissing me off because I, I, it, it's for this um, task management software I use. Because the one, the one I'm using now has no Android app. And they keep saying, oh yeah, they'll be soon. They've been saying that for two fucking years. So I'm, I'm done with them. Plus they've been getting shittier and shittier as time goes on. I used to really like them. and they just Is it, is so it Tasker? No, it's, um, mind, uh, it's called MindJet Connect Action. It used to be called <laughs> CoHuman. It used to be really cool. And yeah. it's like, they, it's obvious that the, they have the programmers working on their primary software, their MindJet, MindJet Connect. Okay. Which is like a... Um, like a note-taking software thing. And then the, the connect action is for like turning those into tasks. But it used to be just task management. It used to be called CoHuman, which meant, made a lot more sense. So you're the people, and it was like social media task management. Right. Right, and, and it was free to like invite, like the, the pro stuff was just more space for storing documents. But I use Google Docs anyway, so it didn't matter. Right, um, okay. And then the main thing was, okay, so they didn't have a, they didn't have an Android app, but it integrated with Google Tasks. So I used a Google Tasks app Right, and I right. could at least I could at least mark things as finished. I could at least create new tasks, even if I couldn't put them in a project. I could at least create new tasks, and they and they'd show up in both. And then they killed that, and I I went on their forums and was like, "What the fuck, guys?" And they're like, "Well, it synchronizes too slowly to be useful." And I'm like, "Look, once a day is enough for me. When I'm on the road, mm -hmm. I I think of something. I want to be able to put it in. And your website is too fucking slow, even on the and and that's the thing too is it's like it isn't any faster now than it was in 2010." I'm um, just using a desktop the, from the desktop, and it's like it's it's unusable in only only in Chrome. The Chrome browser is it usable, and then it's really slow, and then sometimes does thing weird things when you rotate it. Mm -hmm. Have you tried IE? <laughs> Fuck off! Um, but it's it's just I super gotta start to tell silly. you about that. But anyway, continue. Yeah. Anyway, so me. anyway, so do.com. I want to use that, and they do have an. They just released their Android. App because they don't have they don't have Google Tasks integration. Why so they just why can't you just look for the APK? The APK, yeah, I, I, but it's too new, and it's not not enough people use it. Yeah, have you have you searched? For I it? have. I haven't done it. I did it the week it was released. I haven't done it since. Okay. Yeah, tr try the forums or something, or even like post the thing saying if somebody could, because uh, I live in Japan and I can't access it through the Play uh, Store. What? Hold on. Where are the APKs stored on the phone? Do you have access to them? Well, I mean, once it downloads, it says you know download complete in no, my no main menu. I mean, menu. If, when you install from the market. Yeah. When you install from the Play Store, where do the APK files end up? I don't do know. You have access, Maybe. Do you have access to them? Because if it you did, you, did you could just you could just install it and then send me the APK file. Yes, I could actually. But I don't think it stores it, because I I've looked at my uh, I've well, looked at my directory. 
you could use one of the APK downloaders because I can't because my device ID will still link to Japan. Send me, send me the. Can you access that page at all? Yeah, hold on. Because I don't, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my phone rooted, but my friend uh, Kevin at work, he he does. If I give him the link, he can use Titanium Backup to back up the APK, and then I'll get the file from him and I'll send it oh, to that's you. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. We can totally oh, wait. do that. Oh wait, they just opened it up. Really? <laughs> yeah. After all Maybe. that fucking, it just really like I tried three <laughs> days ago and it wasn't available. Install, motherfuckers. They must be, uh, they must be watching our podcast. They must be. Of course, now I had to turn my device on. <laughs> Your uh, trip back eventually was uh, uneventful, right? You were okay? Yeah. Well, it was just problems with the plane? Yeah, problems with the plane and, oh my God, the fucking airport. Holy shit. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, there was yeah. a hydraulic fluid leak in the plane, so they had a Perfect. To a different plane. Luckily, wow. they had never. They they just happened to have another seven 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 sitting sitting around. Yeah. Um, that that was kind of lucky because I don't think airlines usually keep those just fucking floating around. But anyway, no, the you know you two and, half, to, two and a half hours isn't that long. It's not no, it's that not. bad. It's it not wasn't that, that bad. I was just really longer. glad I ate, I was really glad I ate lunch because I almost didn't because there's just there's no fucking food. Like I went to that restaurant. What is it called? Coyote Ugly, the one that's in every single fucking Canadian airport. I don't know. Coyote Jacks or some shit like that. Yeah, and like they got these like just really rude people running the place, and I go up and I go, okay, so uh, how much? Because they didn't, they have a garden burger, right? And they have all these combos. I'm like, okay, how much is the garden burger combo? Because I want the vegetarian burger, right? Mm -hmm. And the lady's like, uh, let me ask how much it is. La, 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 la. So she asks her boss, and he says how much it is. They tell me how much it is, and she goes, but let me check to see if we have any. I'm like, it's 11:30. How would you be sold out already? Like, and, and no they were, here. and they, they were fucking too. were. <laughs> they were so I was like, I know like, they just oh, didn't make it. Yeah, that was the problem. You can just go to the other restaurant. I'm like, yeah, the other restaurant. There's a Casey's, which is like a sit down restaurant, and then there's the fucking like it's just a bar. And I so I walked over to the, the sort of bar one. And they have sandwiches there. I'm like, okay, they got wrapped up sandwiches. I'll just get one of those. And then I'm like, fucking hell, twelve bucks for a fucking sandwich, ten bucks for egg salad, and it's like it's only this big, and yeah, it's like I know. I can get like food that's equivalent to that, and it's fucking wrapped. It's not like they even make it fresh. Fresh, I might, I might concede ten bucks at the airport for mm -hmm. a, a sandwich that they fucking make in front of me. What killed me is that in the domestic terminal when we were walking in, I saw Pizza Pizza, and I was like, "Fuck me, yeah. that's where I want to go." And then we got to, my, I'm like, we're locked off from the domestic terminal. I'm like, you are kidding me. So I ended, it was Tim Hortons. I got like eight, two donuts and a cream cheese bagel. That was that was it. The only thing I had I could fucking eat. <laughs> Because yeah. Tim, Timmy's was the only place that wasn't like super overpriced. What about soup? They have soup there. Yeah, I wouldn't touch that soup with a ten foot pole. Really, soup. it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, I ended up I ended up like craving chocolate milk, so I went to the. <laughs> I should have just got like a hot chocolate or something at Tim Hortons, but I said no drinks when I went there, and so I went to the like sort of the convenience store place where they charge two fifty for the bottle of pop, mm -hmm. um, and I was like wanted to buy milk. And they didn't have any. I'm like, mm, okay. So I walked to the only place that does, which is that Grey Goose like bar place that has the twelve dollars sandwiches. Right. And, uh, I, and they don't have any prices, so I put it down. And she's like, okay, that'll be three forty five. I'm like, okay, and I'll put it on my credit card because I don't really have. I don't want to break any of my big bills because when I go back to Canada, I actually want. I don't want to have a bunch of fucking change. Right. And she's like, oh yeah, our credit card thing isn't working. I'm like, you are kidding me. Are what you the serious? Fuck. Oh what God. the fuck. <laughs> You see those big silver things flying in the air? Yeah, we don't know how we're doing it. They're <laughs> landing here somehow. We have no idea how they're taking off. Yeah, and then how and did then, you end up? How'd you pay for it? You... I had cash. I just broke. I just had a break. I had to break something, which pissed okay. me off. Yeah, it's just like what the fuck is it with this airport? Yeah, no, I know, I know. Canadian shit ports. Microsoft this week announced uh, the Surface tablet. I don't know if you've heard about yeah. that. Mm-hmm. I don't really give a shit. Okay, so they launched the Surface, and I and I was I was really considering buying it because um, uh, I'm, because I'm it's a tablet with a with a with a proper fucking processor in it. Right? Yeah, yeah, and it has an SD slot, and it's a real operating system. Yeah, well, it's RT. It's not really. Uh, it's RT version. Well, I don't know what that means. I actually never really retarded. Looked into it. I think is what it stands for. <laughs> Anyway, Ann Coulter. Okay, so I see this thing. I'm, if I'm going to drop 500 bucks, because I bought I bought my iPad one for 350, 
uh, if we're going to spend that much money, I'm going to, I want to see it for myself. So I went in on Friday yeah. and so I go to buy Best Buy because Best Buy has like a pretty good deal with most of these companies. I know with the iPads and all that stuff, I'm not going to go to an Apple store to buy it. I'll go to a Best Buy store because one, I can get the points for it through their reward system. And two, I'm not going to have to deal with like dickheads. Smug Apple people. Yeah, yeah. Waiting in line or whatever. So I, I, I went to Best Buy and I said, they must have a surface there that I could play with, right? Walk in, see the sign for it, and go, great, it's looking good. Walk to the back, looking around, they have every other Android tablet and their Apple tablets or whatever, no surfaces. So I go to the Geek Squad guy because he's just sitting there, right? He's like, you know, talking to the Mac dude there. The two of them have nothing to do. They're not selling anything. And I said, where are the surfaces? How come you guys don't have them? Oh, they're not selling them today. We're, we, we don't even know when we're going to get them. And I'm like, what do you mean? You know, it's been advertised for weeks. You know, if they've been hyping it up, why aren't they here? Like, how come you guys don't have them here? And so I later on, I found out that they just had a pop-up store downtown Toronto at the Eden Center where you could buy them there. And that was the only place in Toronto that you could buy them. Jesus. The, the only place in the all of GTA area. So you got to risk getting them. shot to get your Microsoft Surface, basically. <laughs> yeah. Is that what they're saying? Well, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to go there and, and try it out. But So you're, they, you're risking getting shot just to try it out. So I, I, I said to the guy, you know, like, why? okay, that's fine. You know, you don't know when they're coming in, blah, 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 whatever. And he goes, well, you know, um, have you heard of Windows 8? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> I've heard of Windows no, 8. No, what's that? <laughs> you know, it's like I'm coming in to ask you about a tablet. What, you think that I wouldn't know what Windows 8 is? You know, like, why would you? And he, it was just an excuse for him to get up and try to sell it to me. And, you know, and I said to him, yeah, yeah, no, I got it already. I, 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 I know enough information about it. I, I lied to him, too. I was like, uh, I'm going to go install it on my sister's computer tonight. And then he goes, well, let me show you some features. And then he was like, he, he brings up the start menu, like the tiles, and he points at the Internet Explorer thing, okay? And he says, this is the only, like, out of all these icons, this is the only icon you're going to need. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> no, seriously, like, I, I just literally said, what are you talking about? Why would I only need Internet Explorer? What the hell could I, like, why would I even consider using Internet Explorer? And he goes, well, it's the, it's the best version yet. And he was just, like, trying to pitch IE to me. I, which and is I, fucking free. He's not even going to make commission on IE. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Well, it's Best Buy. It's not like Future Shop. Future Shop, they, they make some sort of commission, but... Um, they make commission at Best Buy, too. Trust me on this. Do they? Like the, the, I know someone who works there, yeah. Yeah? Like the, their Geek Squad or whatever they I don't know they, if the Geek Squad, them? the salesmen do. Okay, no, this guy was... was this, guy's, this guy is so bored he had to explain Internet Explorer to you? <laughs> Microsoft is probably paying them to push features, specifically... In this case, Internet Explorer. Why would they? Why would they do that? <laughs> most people would only. Most people only use Internet Explorer anyway because they don't know how to fucking install another browser. So, I, what's the issue? Yeah, why would they need know. to pro? Anyone who's anyone who's smart enough to install another br a browser doesn't need. Isn't going to want to listen to some guy at Best Buy telling them how great Internet Explorer is. Yeah. No. I. I couldn't. I couldn't believe that he was. Uh, he was making such a specific you know did you i hope you told him i hope you told him no no i'll stick with my netscape navigator yeah point oh. <laughs> i was gonna say opera but opera is actually around still yeah no you should say mosaic mosaic yes well no no i'm still using I'm, I'm using mosaic that's the best that's the only web browser i need yeah. i just love that flash and text and the yeah. uh, I actually I told them I that, only visit uh, I only visit sites that have those like little fire gifs, <laughs> little animated fire gifs. When I need to update my GeoCities website, <laughs> only only one piece of software will do. Notepad. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite WYSIWYG. It's my. <laughs> <laughs> More like, and then it's literally just text, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's end this right. broadcast yeah. for real. Peace out and fuck off. All right. I got to take these off and say, I'll see you online. Exodus broadcasteth. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the exit button now. I won't take this from you. I'm outraged. You sound, you sound like Harry Monster from... Uh... 
Sesame Street when you do that. I am a so, monster. I'm Greek. You are. 